Whoa! Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. On a plane. You see the hot dog? I hope I did everything right this time. Looks good. Good work, David. Holy shit, you rule, Max. I'm so Call proud of my me. superstar. Oh, you're alive. Oh, you're alive. I did it. I fixed everything. Well, sir. More like, where is the other shoe? It's so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. That doesn't sound good for us. Oh my god, I thought that was Mark for a second. That scared me. <laughs> We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. Sir. I have to admit, I love being called an artist. Everyday heroes. Safe to say that we won that contest. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time. <laughs> when we were innocent. Well, they actually called him the hot dog man. Even though that's technically a sausage, not a hot dog. I can't with the beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. Two Moon Diner? Admits all the environmental chaos in Arcadia Bay, such as the unseasonal snowfall and beached whales. Some residents reported seeing two full moons last night around 8. Oh no, it's still happening! 8 p.m. Witnesses claim the double moons were clear in the night sky until clouds covered them up shortly after they appeared. No cell phone or video footage has surfaced yet, which, had, which has led local meteorologists to believe that imaginations are in overdrive due to the recent eco-havoc. Blackwell Security Uncovers Bunker and Scandal Acting on a series of tips from David Madsen, head of security at Blackwell Academy, police officers descended Tuesday on a bizarre underground chamber allegedly used by teacher Mark Jefferson and student Nathan Prescott to drug, kidnap, and photograph young women. Although there were no other signs of physical or sexual assault on the victims, the disturbing revelations have sent shockwaves through the tranquil city of Arcadia Bay. Even Sean Prescott, the most powerful businessman in the area, is under investigation for his role as owner of the farmhouse where the high-tech dark room studio was located. You know, the, the whole environmental thing still happening means that Dark Room, the whole Dark Room events, Mark Jefferson, all that is not related to the time travel. At least that's what my takeaway from it is. Uh, Please fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. I bet this is a nice break for Principal Wells. After all the damage control he had to do this week at Blackwell. That feather that we have, that kind of looks like the one that Rachel Amber had, doesn't it? You mind not How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guide you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there.
Oh, shoot. Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? Max, you're not just screwing around with time. San Francisco. San Francisco is so cool, and this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. After this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm gonna eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Wowzer, Max. You did it. Somehow. I went from the dark room to this gallery. I've been through so many realities in one week. Life is... strange. <laughs> so the Zeitgeist, I think that's how you pronounce it. I think that means spirit of the time. It means something like uh, the dominant school of thought in current, like a certain field of discipline. Something to do with paradigm shifts. I never thought I'd get to speak to a gallery receptionist about my own work. Nice paradigm shift just like kind of what we're experiencing right now we had that hectic you know trying to get ourselves out of being murdered suddenly we have this piece what is this piece the zeitgeist gallery does have a cool history in frisco uh, i mean san francisco <laughs> i wish i had time to go see those murals here oh my god Why, good morning. You must be Max Caulfield. Whoa. Congratulations for your Everyday Heroes photo. The exhibition is quite impressive, especially with your entry. Thank you. Wow, I'm known my name here. Must be high-class people only in this place. I need to drop some serious cash in there. Patrons and donations give the gift of art. Donations go straight to community arts programs. Too bad I'm poor. For an art gallery, this doesn't seem all that well thought out. <laughs> the locations of everything. Wow, sir. A Danny Lee article. The Golden Gate Reporter. I left my art in San Francisco by Daniel Lee. Yes, I was born on a barge train. Literally. It's a long, amazing story that I won't repeat here. Drinks are required for that one. Here's to mom. That might explain my obsessive love for the Bay Area and its outpost of artists and dissidents. Despite the rampant gentrification, artists and creators thrive regardless of socioeconomic pressures because that's what they do. Galleries such as the Zeitgeist and the Mikovic 
fashion, have engaged with a diverse community and practiced what some patrons only preach. I wonder how it is to live in a submarine like that. It must be really claustrophobic. The hunt for the real October tour the famed USS Malakota. Learn the exciting history of San Francisco's oldest submarine, open daily. The revolution will not be televised. Stop the startups. How many more shops and residents have to be driven out of their lifelong homes by the latest boutique cafe or overpriced theme restaurant? The tech heads that have enslaved the city need a lesson in transgression. Join us this Saturday to begin the end. How fun. Yes, Warren would definitely go ape over this show. No, we don't know what happened to Warren. $6.66 at the door. History of dystopian cinema. Cultural archivist, Z Whoa, how do you even pronounce that name? Zitian Devin presents a kinetic clip show and lecture showing how industrial apocalyptic paranoia led to the birth of the world dystopian cinema. From Metropolis to Planet of the Apes to Blade Runner to Hunger Games. Yeah, it seems like lately, I mean in real life, 2015, there's a lot of dystopian media. Holy shit, this flyer was designed just for Chloe. I wonder if I'm ready for the mosh pit. Skulls and Bones, Hollow, Hollow's Eve, Party, Spooky Art, Ink Portraits, Horror Bands, Midnight Burlesque, Tricks and Treats, Dust to Dawn, 18 and Over Only, October 30th. What date is it today? That would be... Ooh, what? Do we have any texts? Yes, we do. Holy crap. Wait. Oh my god. Okay, let's start with Warren. Do I have to make an appointment to see you now? Oh, please. But yes, you do. So cool that you won. Thanks, Warren. Feels weird. So October 10th. I don't remember what weekday that is. Uh, maybe I can tell by... Oh, there's more. There's more. Max! Jefferson! What the fuck? Insane, right? Did you ever suspect him? Of what? He just seemed like a cool teacher. Thought you kinda crushed on him. Sorry. Should be. I admired his art. Not anymore. Okay, so let me quickly scroll back. Uh, what was the first date? Was this Monday? Was the seventh Monday? I think so, yes. That's when Warren got beat up. So eighth is Tuesday, and then ninth is Wednesday. So now we're on Thursday. We're Thursday again. Okay. Cool. So shit went down in this reality on Wednesday night, or Wednesday afternoon. Maxine, are you there? Are you okay? I just heard on the news about this art teacher you were always talking about. What's going on at Blackwell? Mom, I'm fine. Too much to text. It's crazy. I'll call you later. Promise. I hate you being away like this. Don't keep me waiting. I won't. Maxine, we are so proud, proud, proud. Thank you. You know we always believed in you and your photos. Of course you did. That's why I'm at Blackwell. I wonder who picked the winner, since obviously that's not Mark Jefferson. Um, so. Oh my god, Max, I can't believe that Nathan and Jefferson were arrested. Honestly, I'm in shock. I have to go talk to the police now and give a full statement. Please let me know if you need me there. We all have your back. Thank you. I'm scared, but I want to make sure both of them are put away and never hurt anybody again. Max, I heard that you won contest, and it made me so happy. Your photos are real, or so real and wonderful. It gives me hope that you're going to be discovered now. Thank you, Kate. You give me hope by being my friend. Don't be so humble. Take a bow. I expect a full report over high tea soon. That is a date. Max, Max, Max! Snap, snap, snap! I'm working on a new cheer for you. <laughs> Dana, that's so awesome. I'm blushing. That's because you're on fire, girl. Aw, we're so- everyone's supporting us. Whoa. What is this? Okay. Max, I know mom is melting your phone. I understand why. Tell her not to worry. You're an adult now. You can tell her. I will. Soon. Uh, Max's dad is kind of weirdly distanced from Max. Like, is it really so much trouble for the dad to tell the mom that, you know, the daughter is okay? <laughs> Yeesh. You know, on top of almost having forgotten Max's birthday until, like, 
the noon. All right, Chloe. Our star here. Glad to see you're okay. Oh, shit. Max, I need to see you right now. I know what happened to Rachel. Come meet me at the lighthouse when you get this, please. So that was Tuesday night. I'll be there. I hope she's fine. Max, thank you for being with me yesterday. I keep trying to wake up like this is a nightmare. Why Rachel? She never hurt anybody. No, she didn't. Chloe, I'm so sorry about everything. Dude, how do we get over shit like this? Time. We live. Rachel would want you to have a great life. That's truly the best revenge. Now we really do have to take over the world. No, we just have to be there for each other. You are saint, Max. Yo, Mass Max. Check the shit out. Had a little talk with Step Hero tonight. I'm all eyes. Since he busted Jefferson, he's a totally different person. He has been very cool and apologized for his behavior. That's so sweet, Chloe. Now you're family again. Whoa, down, sister. I did not cry in his arms, but he helped find Rachel and punish her killers. David obviously hella cares about my mom and probably me. And didn't reply for a while. Yes, I'm hella bored with nothing to do. What you doing, hippie? Some of us hippies have homework. No shit, Sherlock. And I already did my paperwork for Bay City College. Oh, she's applying for school again. Proud of you. I hope so. Chloe, I won the Everyday Heroes Contest! Sorry. Holy shit, you rule, Max! I'm so proud of my superstar. This is just the start of your career. I'm just glad I can share it with you. Damn right. Plus, Max, you deserve to win. No emoji! Oh, this is, oh, this is too cute for me. This is way too cute. Okay, I guess since we're in a okayish place now, maybe I can look at these a little bit more. Oh, I hope there wasn't a picture opportunity with Kate that we missed already. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. A burning whale? Oh, well, that doesn't look good. <laughs> Tornado with a car? Somebody looking at photos, probably at the art gallery. Chloe Price forever? Squirrel? Smoking aloud? But hey, these are the things that we've done before. Lockers? Five bottles from episode two. Ooh. I would love to say that I'm an art person, but no, I don't get it. I heard Mark Jefferson was supposed to be here tonight. Not anymore. That was so shocking. I have one of his monographs too. Hold on to it. His work is gonna be worth serious cash. How's it gonna be worth any shit, man? He's arrested. Not my style, but the neon is a nice representation. Oh shit. Pretentious alert. <laughs> Are you Max Caulfield? Bravo on your entry. I'm the art critic for Iris N Magazine, and we would love to include you in a piece about future trendsetters in photography. I'll send you the details this week, if that's okay. Congratulations for your piece. Wow, thanks. I don't like how your voice sounds like Mr. Jefferson's, though. I mean, Jefferson of a bitch. Everyday heroes! This exhibition benefits from the support of Dine and from the participation of ABU. What is a hero? The Zeitgeist Gallery is proud to be a participant in the 2013 Everyday Heroes National Contest, a showcase for today's future stars of photography. The winners, chosen by prestigious teachers from art schools and programs across the nation, reveal imaginative skill and heartfelt awareness, which highlight the casual heroism of those who may never appear on the news or reality shows for unrecognized deeds to the community and beyond. Celebrating each young artist and their work is as important as their celebration of our all too often invisible everyday heroes. By the way, so the picture we gave, wasn't that our selfie? Or am I like completely losing it? <laughs> How is that a hero? Oh, winners, where are we? Max Caulfield! It's Maxine to you. <laughs> there I am, along with all the other winners. I should say artists instead. That's right, Max. You don't have to, you know, have a little bit of confidence. You won out of all those people. It's because you're, you have skill, not because of random luck. 
Look at this print. Whoa. The depth of field, the colors. Look at the bulk of shape. This was definitely shot with a medium format camera using a Leica 35 millimeter lens. You can definitely find out those details. The story of a photo if you know how to look at all the details of a picture. Oh, this is so interesting, Matthew. I didn't think you knew about all this. <laughs> when I was younger, I did a lot of photography studies. Didn't I tell you about it, Emma? I was quite good at it, actually. But I decided to drop photography to do a real paying job. Anyway, it is interesting to be here, and you're lucky to be with me here. I can share all this with you. Uh, Dad? The label says that this is a print from a disposable camera. What are you talking about? Uh, yes, of course. I was meaning a Leica disposable camera. Yes, yes. Uh, and don't contradict me anyway. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, these are the winner's pieces, right? So our piece should be somewhere here, too. Everyday heroes, of course, grandparents, taking care of the grandchildren Be cool, and all. Max. Smile and don't say anything stupid. Marathon runners. A fire... firewoman. Of course, everyday hero. Not sure how the hot dog man is an everyday hero, but... I don't know, maybe Saturday morning cartoon. Save the kid from depression, I don't know. Hello? Oh. Hmm. That looks familiar. This might be too meta... metaphoric. I can't talk to her. Are you really gonna... Are you serious? How did she not realize? Alright! There's our photo. Mother and her kid, maybe? Military person. Man and his dog in the snow. Police women. Homeless dude. Not sure what that is. Oh, like a janitor, maybe. Aren't you from Blackwell Academy? I wanted to go there, but I didn't get in. They have such a cool program. I bet you're learning a lot. Yeah, I'd be learning more if there wasn't a weird perverted teacher there. That one is kind of silly. <laughs> I would love to have this on a shelf. Someday. I wouldn't. I like. Oh, but imagine how much time it takes to make one sculpture. Uh, I want to say that this doesn't look all too complicated, but... That's probably like telling a programmer that you can just add one line of code to do whatever you want. AKA, it's probably very difficult, so I'm not gonna say anything. These are nice pictures. These are 10,000 10, times better than the kind that we saw in... What is it? The other entries, like the one where... Remember when Max said, Oh shit, Nathan's photo is so nice, and it was literally a dude sitting I in a chair? I do not understand art. Me neither. Me neither. Do you want to talk? Well, I have to say, this is the best everyday hero show I've seen since it began. All the pictures say a lot about our times. Bravo. Zeitgeist. How much would you pay for that? Marine captains. All sorts of people. That is different. Let Interested to see where our entry is, Me though. Too. Um, excuse me, I, I just wanted to tell you how much I loved your photograph. Oh. I've seen a lot today, but there's something powerful and understated in yours. I can't wait to see much more of your work in the future. Thank you. That's really kind of you. Um, excuse me, Oops. I, I just okay. wanted to tell you how much I loved your photograph. I've seen a lot today, but there's something powerful and understated in yours. <laughs> I can't wait to see much more of your work in the future. Ah! Well, I know I'm a hero, but how does everyone else know I'm a hero? I'll look at this later, just in case if that triggers anything. I wonder if I can buy these everyday heroes pictures. Prince, maybe? Sorry, I don't know your name, but I saw your picture in the gallery brochure, and uh, I just wanted to let you know how cool your entry was. 
Thanks. God, I love art. Isn't it kind of self-centered that everyone took pictures of like other people, but ours is a picture of myself? That's actually my uh, wallpaper right now, my desktop wallpaper. You must be the everyday hero from Blackwell. My name is Lauren Francis, and I run the media department at Detroit School of Visual Arts. I'd love to talk about you being a residency next spring. <gasps> Don't say anything to Principal Wells yet. Oh my god, all these opportunities. How do these galleries afford to rent here? You know, people who are good at art are pretty damn rich, I would say. Uh, have we? No. I know it's kind of simple, but I find this haunting. Right? The instant print makes it look timeless. Nostalgic melancholy. A Who's teenage the girl. Artist? I think it's for some contest. That's cool. Seems pretty mature. What do you mean some contest? It literally said at the door that it's for the everyday heroes contest, goddammit. Oops, oops, come on, Shh, stop. Oh hey, you're the one who entered the self-portrait. Or actually, do you call it a selfie? Anyway, I was very impressed about how you subverted it to make all of your photo subjects to focus. Oh, very smart. Young and grunge. He'll think about those days for the rest of his life in prison. Is that him? Good. Holy crap, that looks like some sort of like an emo rocker. Noted photographer and teacher arrested for homicide and kidnapping. I mean, I hope in this reality, Nathan turned out okay, because he was kind of manipulated through it all. Oh. I guess I have to get used to the idea of fancy food I don't want to eat. I'll eat it for you. Not yet. Oh, yes. Champagne makes me think of me and Chloe getting busted with that wine. Wish we could have brought Chloe with us, even though I don't think she would... <laughs> Appreciate the art How all much that much. Pay for that? But as long as she's spending time with us, I think she'd be happy. And Max as well. Hi, and there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least for today. <laughs> that guy is like, holy shit, that's her! <laughs> oh, shit! Chloe! Hey, are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. I'm okay. Uh, Jet lag. High altitude. Hmm. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on. Please answer. Max, holy shit, man. Your vision. It's, it's true. You, you saw the tornado. It's coming. What? Oh, no. Chloe, where are you? Chloe! Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? There's the other shoe. Oh my god. The tornado was real. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Chloe will die. Arcadia Bay is gonna be destroyed. There has to be a way to stop this. For good. See, the events of the dark room were not related to the supernatural events. I do not understand. Which means that fixing you pay for that? or arresting or getting getting Mark arrested is not gonna solve the tornado problem. We have to find out what Bad exactly exposure. caused it. Hey. No fucking way. Chloe can't die again. I have to save her. Where was that journalist? There was a journalist here. I didn't talk to him because he looked kind of important. I guess he's gone now. Can I talk to anybody? Oh, what about Principal Wells? Well, I guess I missed my chance. Oh, can I rewind? No, I guess not. 
That's fine. I'll talk to those other two people, the journalist and Principal Wells, later then. Like in a separate playthrough. Excuse me, I'd love to ask you a few questions about your work. Sorry, but... Is that the journalist? What the hell was that? Uh, okay. What am I doing to time? What are you doing to yourself, Max? I just have to make one simple change, so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Um, it's admirable that Max doesn't even have to think before tearing the photo. Because that means she cares about Chloe more than being a real artist or whatever, which is awesome. Not much we can do around here. We are getting progressively weaker with every rewind. Oh shit. Did you see that? Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. 